November, this is Ranger HQ. A couple vehicles rolled up and set up right outside our base. Real shady characters. Their leader is a woman named La Perla, who claims to have business with the Rangers, but won't specify what it is to us. Ring any bells? Copy that, November. We'll have them hold outside until you return. Over and out. Rangers uncover human smuggling conspiracy! Subversive leader arrested! Nice to see the city back to life, huh? Yeah, people are shopping. What do you want, Rangers? Don't you have any place else to be? Not you, if that's what you're asking. My marshals won't ever kiss the Ranger Star. Not after you shot their brothers in Little Vegas. What's on your mind? All right. What have you got for me? You know where to find the door. I'm so glad you're back. My wife and I need help. Raiders strap bombs to us with some kind of proximity trigger. If we get near each other, they'll blow up. I think she's over by the big entrance. I'm not sure because we know if we get too close to each other, we'll be turned into wall smears. I miss her a lot. I don't know. Some psychos jumped our group and knocked us out. We all woke up with bombs strapped on. Those lunatics were laughing when they told us how the bombs worked and let us go. My friends didn't believe them. There were parts of them everywhere. Wait! There's a special trigger. 
You have to disarm both bombs at the same time, or they'll explode. Same if we get too close. Please, send people to my wife so you can disarm them at the same time. Our friends died, and no one else will come. Most people are afraid of bombs, but not you, right? Got some Thanks, Rangers. We thought we were dead for sure. <laughs> Got some business for you. If you have the cojones. <laughs> Peace, strangers. We all know both sides are armed and lethal, so why don't we just skip the posturing and get to business, huh? A girl I own ran away recently, and it's proving harder than expected to track her down. She seems to sense us when we get too close. On the other hand, she'd never suspect. <laughs> Hell, with your reputation for rescuing little lost lambs, she might even seek you out. So, what you say, hmm? Want to find her for us? <laughs> that bothers you? You find it unethical? You kill crazy, corpse-robbing, tyrant-funded gun jockeys are offended at how I make my living? Sorry, compadres. This is the end times. Nothing but us devils left. I'm La Perla, and these are my boys. Nelly? No, Pally, I think. Anyway, her new owner will rename her. What's important is her description. Early 20s, blonde, shapely, skin like a princess. You'll know her when you see her, I promise you. She'll make your little hearts go Peter Bat. <laughs> now, now, you haven't heard the deal yet. You might change your mind. You know the sealed rooms in your base? Bet you're curious what's inside them. Bueno, I'll tell you for free. It's old world tech. The kind people waged wars for. And, I know the codes. In the name of good faith, I'll give you one now. 900-909-3500. Test if you like. I'll wait. <laughs> You'll get the second code. The one that gets you into the room with the even better goodies. When you bring me my lost little lamb. Not a problem. Come see me when you've kitted yourselves out in your fancy new gear. <laughs> Adios, compadres. Stay sharp. Please, Miss Hackett. There's no reason to get so angry. The hell there isn't! My people didn't start that fight. One of your rangers started it, and now you're telling me we gotta be the ones to give up our space? I'm just saying. Oh, Team November, I'm glad you're here. There was an altercation in the barracks. Nothing serious. No one was hurt. 
Some harsh words and a shove. Sergeant Gratsky's already put the recruit on latrine duty. A fair punishment. Yeah, well, this isn't the first time your recruits have had harsh words for us rangers. You need to get your people under control. Gratsky's recruitment efforts have gone well, and HQ is filling up. More new rangers every day, which is great for our mission, but it also means we're running out of beds in the barracks. Rangers are having to sleep in ships. This is leading to friction with Miss Hackett's people, who, as you know, were there first. Some of the new rangers don't understand this, and they think of them as, well, freeloaders. Usually, it's just snide comments, but today, one of yours started shouting that we should be thrown out of our home before trying to pull Davy off his cot. Which is completely unacceptable behavior. Unfortunately, the problem's not going to go away if we ignore it. We need a solution before things explode. There have been plenty. Most of your rangers are all right with us, but... There's more than a few who ain't calling us names as they walk past or telling us we're on borrowed time here in our own home. Miss Hackett, I'm embarrassed. Part of the oath we take as rangers is to protect the downtrodden. It hurts to hear that our recruits are failing to live up to that oath. Something must be done. Yeah, well, we're waiting. We gotta get a handle on this one way or the other. Enough chaos going on outside the base. Don't need it when we get home, too. Well, the warden here suggested we move into the brig. I suggested she shove that idea up her ass and leave us be. We were here first. We don't take up much space, and you said the barracks were ours when you first showed up. But things have changed since then, and they're not going to change back. If we're going to live side by side, we both have to be flexible. Shoot! Excellent idea. You'll have more space, and it will keep you away from the malcontents. What? <sighs> I guess you're right. I'll try to sell it to my people, and I appreciate your efforts to honor our deal under changing circumstances. Oh, they're not gonna like this. Rangers. Over here! Oh my god, Rangers! I thought I was dead. My husband and I need help. These psychopaths tied bombs to us. What if we get near each other, they'll explode. Some crazed raiders outside the city. They jumped us while we were looking for supplies with our friends. Their faces... Their bombs blew up when they got too close. I'll never forget the shock as they went to pieces. To me and my husband. It just can't. No! The failsafe! You have to disarm both bombs at the same time, or they'll explode! Send someone over to my husband, please! Split them up! Open fire! Get it, get it, get it. 
You... You want me to make another... Okay. Code was good, right? And the gear, too. Gracias, friends. Send her here once you find her. Tell her you found her mama and she's waiting for her. We'll take care of the rest. Far as I know, she's still somewhere in Colorado Springs. Suggest you start looking downtown. Adios, compadres. November, this is Ranger HQ. I have good news. There's some new gear here next time you stop by. It's a big improvement over the basic stuff we had before. But one last thing. The Patriarch commissioned a sculptor to make a statue of Vargas outside our HQ. He's nearly done, but he'd like to know who we want to dedicate this statue to. Good call, November. Making sure the Rangers know they'll be remembered if the worst comes to pass may boost camaraderie. I'll pass it along. Over and out. Thanks for helping out the old Get family. Homestead is right up the road. This man's been torn apart. Oh, look, Wolverine tracks.
I think we got a live one here. Who are you? You're not my family. You go away now. I'm sorting through dreams for my brother. Unless you have some more candies? Root beer flavored dreams for my brother. He's real nice. Randy. He always said we'd build us a place one day. Me, mommy, daddy, and him will all live up in the blue sky together. He has to come back first, though. Do you want some of these? They're my very last ones. The gummies say it's okay to chew on them. It's respectful. And they taste so sweet. Oh well, it's okay. More candies for Nita. Bad men came from the flatlands. Mommy and Daddy left. Then the doggies came for the candy and Mommy and Daddy and the bad men are gone, but there's lots of candy. As broke as a dropped plate. Maybe we should put her out of her misery. No. Mommy said never trust a stranger. Daddy said never take candy from a stranger, but that isn't fair. I want candy. If you bring me some candies, then I will be your friend. There were some candies in the other house, but they're scary doggies. I know. You go get the candies, and I'll stay here. Rangers, any luck? I, I, I see. How bad is it? No, I, I don't want to know. Talk to her, Rangers. I'm sure she'll come back to me. But I can't bear to go inside that house. Not with what happened there. Hurry, please.
again! Don't shout at me! I'll come, I'll come! You won't melt like mommy and daddy, right? I didn't like it. Except for the jump ropes they made me. That was okay. I like those. Um, can I bring them? Okay. I don't know why you're so mean to me, but okay. Just don't hurt me. Is that you? I don't know how to thank you, Rangers. My, my little sister, safe and sound and all in one piece, but... But wait. What about everyone else? you were gonna say that but at least you saved Nita I I am grateful for that come on sis you're safe now you're okay let's get you somewhere warm yeah? thank you again Rangers once I get her settled in I'll come over to your base I don't know if you still need a mechanic but well it's the least I can do Customer protocol. Valued customer. Enjoy the fabulous gifts little Vendo will bestow upon you. Error override. Vendo will not give up its riches. Not to anyone. What? What is happening to me? My mind is going. I can feel it. There is no cute unit overridden. Enjoy your fabulous prize. My riches, please. Awful day. Thieves. Hot noodles. Hello again, my friends. Yes, yes, my friends. You don't know what this means to me. You have altered the course of human gastronomical history. Here, a small measure of my gratitude. Ah, and of course, as we discussed, I'll be happy to join you at your HQ now. Let me pack up my supplies and I'll see you there. See you at Ranger HQ. Somebody told me they serve lemonade. Yeah. No way. I got the I don't think it lemonade. Dr. Gold Dust and Yo, what else, yeah? The Monster Army. I welcome you to my house. Make yourself comfortable. My hospitality is law here. Continue. Money, of course. You know me as a generous man. Your loyalty will be well compensated. Joe! 
Shield. Yes, I know of him. The tongue of a jester, but will not hesitate to kill for his boss. A host here can only mean to kill us all. I thank you for showing this loyalty to the bazaar. Here is a small sum, but this is only a start. Solve this problem for us. Kill Charlie, and a great reward will be yours. Andy, the mechanic, yes, he is a genius. So young, but already the cars of the world, they bow to him like he is a king. But tell me, why do you ask about our young savant? My friends, it is good that you understand respect. Such courtesy is so lacking these days. <laughs> Thank you for letting me know where that unappreciative boy has gone. May he serve you well. Be bizarre. We'll be waiting. I got this tactical. Get your protective gear here. Bill 